How's it going everybody? My name's Doe. Hope you're doing pretty good. In this video, I want to explain or show you guys some beginner 8th striker builds and talk about what to go for when you're just starting out in Dauntless. And the first thing I want y'all to do, if you haven't already, if you're new to the game, play all the weapons, figure out what you want to play, but also keep in mind that later on, once you get better gear, better cells, the weapon playstyles can change and feel faster and just feel better in general. So just keep that in mind. So when you're starting out, I suggest pick weapons that you like to play in their current state. Like, don't add anything to it, just like, hey, I like playing this, I don't need these cells, I don't need any of this stuff, it feels fun to play. So pick those, and play those, and then work towards unlocking other stuff once you get better gear. That's my big suggestion, that is what I hope y'all do and I hope y'all understand, because starting out, some weapons feel awful for me. Like repeaters with no attack speed, I don't want anything to do with that, get that away from me, just get it gone. Axe is the same way, Axe is not fun for me with no attack speed. That's just how it is for me. This is all personal, all subjective, so keep that in mind. But if you like Edge Strikers and you want to figure out some builds for it starting out, this is a good video for that. So for, before I talk about the builds, I want to talk about the quest because this is a good time to do that. And the quest for Edge Strikers starting out, you have two. And they seem to be confusing for people, and I want to explain how they work. So after you play the game for a little bit, you'll unlock the ability to get the Strikers. It works in a similar way to Repeaters in the sense that after some progression, you'll be able to play these weapons and unlock them by doing a certain quest. Now, to unlock the Aether Strikers, after some time, you have a quest called Finding Lost Cat, like Finding Lost Cat, Finding Lost Cat, whatever her name is, Cat Sorrel. You find her after doing this quest, and then at a certain point, she'll have a quest where it's to, like, talk to the Sacred Master, or Scar Master. You go talk to her, and all she wants to do is give you the Aether Strikers after that. She gives you the Recruit Strikers, she gives you all that stuff, you're good, you're golden, and then the quest that's hard is using your techniques in the proper manner. To do this, all you gotta do is generate mantras by doing combos, doing different combos, mind you, and then do all the techniques. So the first technique requires one mantra, the second technique requires two mantras, and the third technique requires all three mantras. Remember, different combos generate different techniques. You only have three combos, so you do one combo, do the first technique. You do two combos that are different, do the second technique. And then you do all three combos and do the last technique when they're like in you know in a certain time frame and you're good. That's all you have to do. It's that simple. Hopefully that that explains it, you know, by showing you guys on screen and talking about it in this video. If not, I apologize. I try my best. But now to get into the builds and like what to go for in terms of armor and strikers, you know, my, my suggestions I should say. For the armor. I really suggest going for Drask Helmet, Drask Chest Piece, Nasher Gloves, Nasher Feet, because those are what I use every time I make a new account, every time I go through the game, those are the items I use to go pretty far into Dauntless. I pretty much get to around the heroic, you know, the heroic point, and then even, even at that point, what I'm swapping out is my helmet for Hellion and my feet for Koshai. And then past that, if I want like a certain build, I'll just go for that. But I use Jurassic Helmet and Chest and Nasher Gloves and Feet for a long time in Dauntless. Those are my preferred armor choices for the early game. Now for weapon choice for Strikers, you have some options. First and foremost, you can pick whatever you want to pick, doesn't matter. Well, it matters to an extent, but if you like a certain, if you like a certain unique effect, pick that, that's fine. My suggestions are going to be Hellion, Drask, and Nasher Strikers. Those are my suggestions for Strikers. Those are what I would suggest making. If you want a Frost Striker, Boris is pretty good too, but if you know, it's, it's, it's up to you. You can pick the Nasher, Drask, the Nasher Strikers starting out because those are the very first things you can create because it's the very first people you fight. Actually, that's a lie because Strikers are unlocked later in the game. Whatever. So at the, at the point where you can make Strikers, you'll probably have fought Drask and you'll be close to fighting Hellion at some point. So I would suggest making Drask and Hellion Strikers. That's what I would do. You can make Boreas too, but if you don't like farming Boreas, then I would suggest not making them. Like the main thing here is find a behemoth you like to farm, and then just make its weapons. Because if you like farming it, it's not going to be a hassle to get the parts from it because you don't mind you don't mind fighting it. You don't mind fighting that behemoth and farming it for the parts. So that's a big thing. And also, when you are farming behemoths, I suggest cutting the tails. Like focus the head, the legs, and the tails. Like, that's a big thing right there, because the tail's a hard thing to hit, so when you stagger a behemoth or you interrupt it, hit the tail, try and clap that thing, or adamant bolts it, or whatever the case is, and that's a really good time period. Like, that's a really good point in the fight to get the tail off, and or put damage in the tail, and cut it off later. 
but that's pretty much a video it's you know kind of short for my videos but it's you know hopefully it's to the point helps you all out and gives you an idea of what to go for in dauntless and yeah so hopefully it helps if it did be sure to leave a like comment down below and share this video because it helps with the channel immensely if you want to see more videos like this you can subscribe to this channel for more dauntless content that's what i do here and if you want to support this channel or just me if you use my epic game support career code which is odo in the epic game store or the in game dauntless store that helps me out a ton and just remember to use that use a use someone's code every 14 days it expires it's a pain i get that but if you remember to use it it helps out someone and it costs you just you know however long it, it takes to type in someone's name that's all it costs you and lastly for my in-game flair you can get it by being a twitch sub on twitch you know twitch prime gifted tier one doesn't matter if you're a sub just type in exclamation exclamation mark flair in the chat and click the discord link link twitch and discord easy clap but hey that's the video that's all the plugs. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.